Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you are subscribed or following to our Instagram account, Kid Short Stories. This month, we're giving away a ton of really cool stuff. And so, in order to enter, you have to make sure that you're following the account, Kid Short Stories, on Instagram to enter. Today's story comes to us from Adrian. He sent me an awesome idea for a story, and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day, and Adrian was playing in his backyard. He had a really cool backyard that he loved to do all kinds of different things in. But today was hole digging day. (laughs) Have you ever tried to dig a super, super deep hole? What do you think you could find if if you dug a hole like really deep, like that you could stand in? What do you think you would find in there? Maybe you could find something from a long time ago. Maybe a fossil or maybe a treasure. Well, Adrian, while he's digging, he is about to find something pretty incredible. Ah, this is an awesome hole. I I don't think I've ever gone this deep before, said Adrian. He had a shovel and was scooping out loads of dirt from this big hole. Oh, this is going to be the best fort ever. You see, his plan was to make this big hole and then to cover it with branches as kind of like the secret roof so that no one would know that he was inside that deep hole. This was a pretty cool idea for a fort. I've never made one of those before, but Adrian was determined. Each scoop led him closer and closer to his final goal. Clunk. What was that? His shovel hit something pretty hard, and as he brushed away the dirt, he noticed that there was something there. Look at that. There was, it looks like a metal canister. He pulled it out of the dirt, and it was really stuck in there. He had to like wiggle it back and forth and finally it popped right out of the dirt. It was a small canister, uh, maybe the size of a can of soda, and he opened up the top. It was sealed on really tight. He had to really pull on it and finally he was able to unscrew the top. Inside was a rolled up piece of paper. (gasps) What is this? This could be like a treasure map or something, but it's probably not, said Adrian. As he pulled out the piece of paper, and (coughs) it was pretty dusty, he unrolled it and it was very old. As he opened it up, his eyes got very large. He knew exactly what this was. (gasps) Is this a real treasure map? Are you kidding me? Am I dreaming? shouted Adrian. I found a treasure map. Wait, I can't let anyone else know about this or else they might try and take it from me. Oh dear. All right. As Adrian started to examine the map, he realized that this was a treasure map of his backyard. You mean to tell me that this entire time there was treasures back here in a treasure map and I had no idea? Whoa. I guess that's why it's really good to do exploring. You just never know what you might find. As Adrian started to follow the map around, he heard a sound coming from the forest. (laughs) What was that? shouted Adrian. As he looked up deep in the forest, there was a monster. (laughs) It was not very big. But it was very strange looking. It was very furry. It had two little horns and 
It was kind of short and round, and it had a little tail, and it walked on its back legs. Oh, it it's running towards me! Ah! You see, that monster was a treasure monster. It wanted that treasure map. It had been searching for hundreds of years for that map. And finally, he must have smelled it when Adrian pulled it out of the ground. <laughs> it was charging towards Adrian, and Adrian did the only thing he could think of. He grabbed a stick that looked kind of like a sword and started waving it in the air. Stay away from me. I, I know how to use this. This may look like a stick, but it's actually a sword. Stay away. As Adrian held his ground, that little monster, he started crying and ran back to the forest. Arr, I'm a pirate now. <laughs> Adrian felt very brave and almost like a pirate as he scared away that hairy monster that was looking for the treasure. All right, I think I'm getting closer, he said. You see, the map was leading him all the way towards a certain part of his backyard and... Whoa! As he dove out of the way just in time, there was some kind of trap that fell from high up in the trees. It was like some kind of booby trap. Yes, you see, every treasure is protected by traps. Whoever hid that treasure, they don't want anyone to find it. And so they always protect it and guard it with some of the sneakiest of traps ever. Whoa, that was a close one, said Adrian as he brushed the dirt off of his clothes. He realized that he must be getting close if that trap was trying to get him. Wait a second, what is this? As he stood up and there was a tree right in front of him that had an X etched into the bark of the tree. This must be where it is. He had to remember to stay quiet or else that treasure monster would come back. All right, I got to start digging carefully, quietly. As he dug and dug and dug, dink, dink, his shovel tinked on something metal in the dirt. Oh, this has got to be it. As he pulled this big box out of the ground, it was locked. But don't worry, he had a very strong metal shovel. Tink, tink, chunk. He was able to break off the lock with his shovel, and as he opened it up, he couldn't believe his eyes. <gasps> Those are real diamonds! He had never seen real diamonds like these before. They had almost like a greenish glow to them. They were amazing and looked almost magical. <gasps> this is amazing. I can't believe it! What do I do with all this? <clears throat> Off in the distance in the forest, he heard the sound of that treasure monster. Oh man, I gotta get something to protect all this. Uh, oh yeah, I got something inside. All right, I just gotta hide this. He buried it under some leaves so that it was totally invisible and ran inside to get something to protect it from that treasure monster. While he was inside, there was a mole nearby. Do you know what a mole is? <laughs> it's kind of like a mouse. Well, moles like to travel around underground. They're very good diggers. Well, this mole was very sneaky and had been spying on Adrian this entire time. He was a treasure mole. As he walked over towards the pile of leaves and scooped the leaves away, he found all the diamonds and couldn't believe it. He started eating them. What are you doing, mole? Stop that! As Adrian came running outside, he saw the mole stuffing his face with all these glowing green diamonds. Hey, what are you doing? shouted Adrian. The mole stopped and turned to look at him. And instantly, the mole started glowing green. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> A very strange sound and a bright light came out of the mole, who had transformed into an alien! Dun, dun, dun! Thank you, my friend. I have been stuck on this planet for a very long time as a mole. And now you have found my diamonds, which I can now 
finally return back to my planet. Goodbye. Wait, what? As Adrian stood there with his hands on his head, he watched as this mole that had transformed into an alien now blasted off to space. What in the world is going on here? Said Adrian. He ran over to the treasure box and all the diamonds were gone. Wait a second. They're all gone and... Wait, was that even real? Adrian had a hard time imagining that this was real. He found a treasure with glowing green diamonds and then a mole ate them and blasted off as an alien. Oh dear. I gotta sit down and have a glass of water. Oh man. Wow. (laughs) What a silly day that Adrian has had. And I think it's actually pretty cool what he found. And I'm glad it was the mole that turned back into an alien and not Adrian. (laughs) Well, that is the end of the story, but I think just the beginning of Adrian's exploring his backyard. The end. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair? Or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon? Or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends? Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, they're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends... Each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box, remember that Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Apollo from California, West from California, Ada from Maryland, Willa from Oregon, Ellis from Wisconsin, Logan, Bentley, and Hunter from Utah, and Vienna from Colorado. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Sticky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. And guess what? There's so many more stories. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.